and welcome back everyone to the Farmcast. We're back again. Myself, Zach Hand, Kyle Pate, Jake Becker, and all the way in North Dakota, we've got Doc Firmer. And today, it's an exciting day, guys. I have been waiting for this moment for a very long time. Uh, finally got the XFL starting up, and uh, just like millions of other people, we cannot get enough football. Ready for some more football action, and uh, we're going to be naming I'm, off our, some of our favorite teams. I'm ready for some extreme football. Oh. Um, I'm sick of some national football. Uh, right away. So I guess just open up the floor. What do you guys think? XFL. I'm excited. I'm excited because as much as anybody else, I love watching shitty football, and I love watching terrible football players do battle, and it's going to be fun as hell. Yep. I um, also am very excited for football. <laughs> nope, don't do not do that. Yeah, yeah wow. That's, yes, uh, the entire podcast, just ASMR. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's um, more on my Patreon. Yeah. Um, Only fans. Yeah, I'm really fucking pumped. I, I love blindly jumping into something like this. Uh, starting a whole new league's fucking sick. We can pick a team which we'll get into, Um but we're just going to see NFL name drops. That's fucking fun. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be so cool seeing uh, a league full, fully embrace gambling. And it could be a sign of things to come in other leagues. You have the NFL officially partnering with DraftKings. So it's starting to kind of bleed into it. But XFL seems to be really embracing uh, all the, the betting lifestyle. And it's going to be really interesting to see yeah, if it can I mean, survive the first initial season and what goes on after. They have gambling odds on the... Uh... Like on the scoreboard or whatever the yeah. graphic on yeah. the bottom. That's yeah, sick. that is. This was practically built for gambling. Oh yeah, and I'm happy about it. The uh, the WWE style sideline interviews, watching the coaches uh, give their plays, talking to the players after they just score a touchdown, getting the raw emotions. It's just so cool. Yep. I kind of do wish it had uh, the same kind of energy. Do you guys remember the PlayStation 1 game? Uh, it was like NFL Extreme or whatever. You mean Boom! Blitz! Blitz! Blitz. Blitz. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And if, I wish it did have a little more of that um, in it. That would be pretty cool. See. Boom! Welcome to the NFL. See, I was more of an NFL Street 2 type of guy. Oh. So they just oh, yeah. like... No, we know. <laughs> All right. God <laughs> damn. We God know. God damn. <laughs> exhibit. I was just going to say, there's a reason why every time I hop in your car, you're listening to Exhibit. <laughs> the man was hey, a quality yeah. rapper, I'll say that much. And it's really weird that you have the collection of every season of Pip My Ride. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't have Pip My Ride on VHS and DVD? You never know when you're going to watch either Jake of them. Jake Becker on this, this week's episode of My Strange Addiction. Exhibit. <laughs> yeah, Pip My yeah. Ride. <laughs> yep. Um, but yeah, back to XFL. Uh, exhibit football league. <laughs> 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 exhibit. Uh, we have, I'm all in. We have, we have talked about exhibit way too much already. One would say not enough. Welcome to the exhibit cast. <laughs> <laughs> Fenner. Uh, yes. XFL. Different rules. Uh, I understand that you are rules expert man, Al Fenner. Um, yes. So that is hit, me with some, hit me rules. with some fun rules. I want to hear about this. Okay, so first, teach me the XFL. The I think the big ones, especially like if you're into gambling, that you're going to be looking at is the extra point system. Oh yeah, you can now go for one, two, or three points, creating the possibility of a nine point touchdown. Whoa, ah, you know, um, the I one point extra points. try. Yeah, the the one point extra try will be uh, from the two yard line. Two point will start at the five. And the three point will be from the ten yard line. Okay, which... let's let's talk about that for a second. Yes, because who the fuck? Why? I think going for one's stupid. See, and as of the time of recording, it's about five fifty Central Time. And what really? We watched the first XFL game between Seattle and uh, DC, and they went for the one pointer almost every single time, mm-hmm. and that was pretty disappointing to watch because you know you're thinking XFL, you're thinking some wild fun stuff. And they were just going for one-pointers. And the funniest thing is that they kept dicking those. They couldn't even make the yep, one-pointers. No. And this might just be from my perspective. I think it would be easier to go for two than it would be for one because you could open up the field a mm. little bit. And maybe actually going for three, maybe. I don't know how that would turn out, but I, I just want to see it in action. Wait, so ex- explanation because I don't know anything. Oh, God. It was very <laughs> self-explanatory. Yeah. No, like, yeah. did I stutter? Two or no, three. for the extra points, are they kicking? Are they running plays? Or what is They're it? They're running, running plays. Okay. Running plays. Yeah. okay. 
I'm glad we got yeah. that cleared up. There is no kicking no, for and, extra points. An eight-yard eight extra point field goal attempt is worth three times as much well, as Well, all right, right, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> God damn. Or, like, the one point could be the kick, and then, like, the, for two and then for three points would be running plays. That's what I was confused I get, about. I didn't know. I get why you were asking. Yeah, I see? Get Don't worry, I'm on your side. Thunder, what else you got? Sports. Um... Nice. So they've added the uh, double forward pass, which is fucking sick. Huh? You oh, can yeah. um, you can throw a second pass, um, given that the first forward pass is caught behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, right. I'm, so it doesn't ha- it doesn't have to be like a lateral or anything like that. It can be a forward pass. Say the quarterback is ten yards deep and he throws it to guy one yard behind the line of scrimmage. The wide receiver, whoever catches it, can then throw the ball downfield still. I do not understand why that's not a rule in the NFL. If yeah, it's, it's yeah. behind the line of scrimmage. It's your mm-hmm. line of scrimmage. You should be able to do whatever the hell you want behind that line. Yeah, yeah. agreed. I like that rule a lot mm-hmm. more. <clears throat> Opens the play up a little more. I think that's going to make guys. Um, I know, like Keenan Reynolds uh, is on Seattle. You know, he's the the dude that came out of Navy with just all those crazy stats and played for Baltimore for a little bit, but couldn't make the team eventually. I want to see him uh, employed in some of those double pass plays because I think he, he's the kind of gadget player that would be super exciting to watch, and I think there's probably a few more of those too. Yeah. Um, Fenner, any other fun, fun yeah, rules? Yeah, okay, so this one, I think... I Okay, so uh, they are changing the catch to basically college rules. You have to have mm-hmm. one foot inbounds or any part uh, of the body touch inbounds, and yep. it's catch. How do you guys feel about that? I'm oh, I love torn. it. It's awesome. Uh, okay. It's fucking I'm, awesome. I'm fine right. with that. See, I, I don't take this as seriously as the NFL, so I just want to see more exciting plays happen, and especially if these guys aren't uh, they're not going to be as talented as a lot of the NFL guys. I think Bullshit. getting two feet in bounds, <laughs> getting two feet in bounds for a lot of those crazy sideline catches might be a bit to ask. So I'm I'm down with it. I'm I'm fine. Plus, I think it kind of uh, eliminates the oh. It was, was he in bounds? All yeah. the and that's what they want to eliminate is the they just want to be fun because replays that's suck. Fun. Yeah, what are you gonna the, say, Thunder? Well, I was gonna say the only reason I'm a little bit torn on because I agree. I think I think one foot is probably the way to go, but I think it's so fucking impressive watching Julio Jones make a fucking sick jumping snagger DeAndre it Hopkins, is. whoever, and be able to get two feet down. I think that is one of the best plays you can watch in football. A sideline catch. Or like that Santonio Holmes touchdown catch in the Super Bowl. That was that is that is still one, of the and that is why Santonio Holmes, Julio Jones, uh, are in the NFL. No, I get it. I get Malachi Dupree is in the NFL. Yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why Eli Rogers is catching bombs in the XFL. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Uh, Any others? There's one more. One more I want to touch on. Um, The kickoffs. So you guys watch game. I understand you guys Mm -hmm. watch kickoffs. For those who don't know. the receiving team is lined up on the 30-yard line. The kicking team is lined up on the 35-yard line. The kicker's still... I don't know where the kicker's at. The, uh, uh, the kicking team's 45. The 45? kicking team's 45-yard line. Um, and the kicker's just all by himself. Yeah, all by himself. And so basically, I think they're trying to make it a little safer so you don't have 250-pound mm-hmm. guys running at each other. Um, and then the whole touchback thing. Like, if you kick it out of bounds uh, before the opposing team's 35, or at, whatever, in between the 35 and the end zone, yeah. or you it's a touchback, they get it at the 35. So it's basically, like, make them return 45. the ball. Is it the 40? Yeah, no, I think it's, it's the 40. Nope, it's 35. Touchback then what was it? I think if you, don't, if you don't kick it... Um, Pass, if you don't kick it to pass the 20 yard line, I think you automatically then get it at the 45. Yes, that is correct. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was going to say, because yeah. I'm looking at the rules right now, it says touchbacks will result in the receiving team starting at their own 35. But basically, I love that because they're like, watch, let us have a fucking kick return, which kick returns are the most, one of, if not the most exciting plays in football when they actually result in the touchdown. Yeah, yeah. I love, I, I love the new, uh, this new kickoff format safer and like it could be pretty fucking sick i think this is one of those changes that eventually could bleed into the nfl because they've been Mm -hmm. changing kickoff return rules and this one definitely 
seems safe, and I think it's definitely going to allow for Ooh. guys to actually get a kickoff return. Maybe not put him at the 40 necessarily, but I think this could really turn into something that actually sticks. Because for mm-hmm. a while there, it seemed like the NFL was trying to like eliminate kickoffs in general. Yeah. Which would have sucked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No. That I love – some of this stuff I think is really cool. I think it's very – distinct and i like the fact that it's just going to be xfl i don't want to see the sideline reporting bleeding into nfl i, I kind of like the traditional stuff but this is cool for the xfl because this is just dumb nonsense gives you football it makes it not as sad after the super bowl <laughs> um but that's all you have right fenner yeah that's I think okay that covers most of the rule changes honestly what are your thoughts becker i think it's exciting it's definitely different from the nfl which is like I feel a well needed change just mm-hmm. to spice it up. And it's not a lot of people are taking it seriously, which I mean makes sense it's not the NFL, but it's mm-hmm. still very exciting to watch and just cool to have foot like football in the spring. So we have something yeah. entertaining to watch. I also like how like the XFL is really embracing their role of just as a not as serious NFLs because you know with uh, PFT commenter being uh, tried out for kicker of the DC defenders who got a big dub today, um, I think that's pretty cool and it made me think. Becker, I think you should you could try out for an XFL team. I mean, I would rather try out for an MLR team, but I think I can make an oh, XFL oh? roster. Major League Rugby, that's rugby. what it is. Yeah. Okay, wait, this yeah. is not a rugby podcast. Yeah. Sorry, it's not a rugby yeah. podcast. If you Redacted. Ever bring up rugby on this podcast again, you're out of here, buddy. Yeah. Your days are numbered. <laughs> yeah, if I th- I think I could if I actually took it serious and like trained every day for like a year, I think I could make an XFL roster. Yeah, you could be a kicker. That's why they call you. Yeah, cool. wow. I can't wait to never watch any you play rugby. Man, that sounds great. Yep, you can watch me in the XFL instead. Yep. <laughs> XFL Becker. Yep. XFL legend. Hell That's yeah. why I just wanted to bring that up. I think you know what, Becker, I think you should try out for a team. I do think I do I do think it's really cool that this kind of gives it like if it survives and is around, it like sticks around it gives uh, players like an alternative to college football. Mm-hmm. Yep. So if, you can. Uh, I, I read an article that there is a guy who I can't remember where he went to school or his name, so I apologize. But um, he shout got out to yeah. Shout out. Um, he got um, kicked out of school for like academic reasons, and instead of transferring. He decided to play in the XFL. He's some safety. I think he plays for the Dallas Renegades. But I could be wrong. Um, but so now he's eligible for this year's draft, mm-hmm. which is Interesting. very cool. That is, that is pretty. And sick. I think so you if can... he ends up getting drafted, I think that'll only help the XFL. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because then you'll yeah. get people just going like, "Well, I don't want to waste time at college." I mean, yeah, you you can develop your skills a lot more, but you can develop your skills in the XFL and get paid to do it. It, right. it kind of reminds me of guys in basketball going overseas instead of playing in college mm-hmm. because why would you not get paid for mm-hmm. your services if you're going to be playing at such a high level? Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Like who was the big name who went to schools um, you do get paid at? But, <laughs> who was the big Miss. guy? Who was the guy yeah. that went to New Zealand to play? Who was like a big uh, like five star recruit who like turned down a bunch of college offers? It's like JT something, isn't it? Something. Oh, I thought you yeah. were talking about Lamelo Ball. No. No, no, no. Oh, no. yeah. I thought you were talking about... No, he went to go um, play for the New Zealand Breakers. Yes. I don't know his name, I, though. I thought you were talking about was, what's That was big news, because it just <laughs> oh. is... Yeah, I, th- I think that just sets a path for future like, athletes just to go overseas or play in a different country to get paid and play, and then just join the NBA when they can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, yeah, it's cool. And what we were kind of talking about earlier when we were watching the DC game... Uh, it's a cool storyline It leading into the draft. Uh, some of these people might even just, like, show up enough to be like, oh, NFL team wants to work out with you. That's pretty neat. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I think uh, I think guys like Cardale Jones, I think they're going to get another shot yeah. in the NFL because of this. Because, yeah. I mean, he's a guy who already, for example, just him specifically, he's got the size, speed, uh, definitely a huge arm. And I think this is, instead of them just sitting around trying out, they can keep playing football yeah. that those skills don't erode and i think it keeps these guys ready yeah that'll um, be it. going going back to basketball it was rj hampton that's who it was oh, okay, okay. Yeah. that was gonna kill me so. okay another thing so, that i like oh yeah. sorry zach but no 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 another thing that i Go liked on. about the xfl is there's team nine 
It's just a pool of players who like didn't make a team, but they're just like mm-hmm. on call in case like a team needs them. I think that's the Shit, coolest I didn't know idea. About that. Yeah, Team that's 9 is awesome. Lit. Yeah, it's just a pool of insane. guys just on call ready to play. All right, yeah. I really want to get into our favorite teams because uh, my team, my favorite team is off to a very hot start right okay. now. And uh, I actually think this team has the, what I, what I would think is going to be the MVP of the inaugural season of the okay. XFL. Matt McGloin? Not Matt McGloin. Should we, should, can I start? Go on, yeah, 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 yeah. Take All us right. off. So my team is going to be the Houston Renegades and is Ooh. going to have the MVP Philip Walker as quarterback and I think this is the team yeah what team was oh oh, sorry Houston Roughnecks he said Renegades earlier my bad (laughs) yeah just so everybody's fan yeah yeah huge fan the Houston Rednecks (laughs) so the Houston Boneless Oilers nice speaking of Houston Roughnecks uh touchdown alert Oh, I know. That's what I was saying. Khalil uh, Lewis. Walker just threw his fourth touchdown of the game. Holy shit. And this team just has absolute name drops everywhere you look. A lot of guys who were formerly in the NFL. Um, guys like Sammy Coates, receiver for the Steelers yeah. a while ago. And he's one of those guys. He's got decent size. He always had speed. He could jump real high. But he just couldn't really make it work in the NFL. So it's kind of nice to see him get another chance. Uh, Philip Walker uh, beat up backup quarterback legend. Connor Cook out of Michigan State. Uh, clearly, Connor Cook did not pan out in the NFL. He, I think he went he went to the Raiders, I believe. Maybe. Didn't really work uh, out. Yeah. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> other guys that came from the NFL, D'Angelo Henderson, he used to be a running back for the Broncos, uh, a longtime member of several of my Madden teams. Uh, he's about 5'6 and fast as hell. Always is on my teams. Uh, former Packer legend Carl Bradford at linebacker. Uh, he sucked, so it's nice to see him on the team. Yo. Another terrible player is yeah. uh, you guys remember Andre Williams, the nope. big ass running back from the oh, Giants. Oh yeah, nope. That dude sucked. Giants legend. Yeah, he was big, fat, and real slow. <laughs> yep. A couple other guys. Um, they have Cody Ely, which I was really surprised to see him out of the NFL. I didn't really remember him being that bad. I remember in that Super Bowl. Uh, against the Broncos. He had I think he's tied the Super Bowl record for sacks. Uh, I think he had three sacks in that Super Bowl tying uh, Reggie White and Darnell Dockett. So I always thought he was going to have a nice career but just didn't really pan out for him. And uh yeah, so that's going to those are the notables from my Houston. See, Red I'm just going to I'm just going to chime in. I think the Roughnecks are stupid. I hate that. I hate the mascot. Wow. Okay, the pop team. off, gang. The team, like, I hate their Mark logo. It, their logo is so stupid. It's just the Oilers, except yep. there's a big old H on t- front in the front. It's like, pop get off, a little more creative. Have, like, what's except they have what's a, a rough MVP. about an Oiler? Like, I don't know. Yep. Pop it just off, doesn't Becker. make sense. I don't like well, it. Well, Becker, if you, if you want to talk so much shit about my favorite team, what is yours? All right, fine. thought you'd never ask. I did a lot of research <laughs> based on what oh, logos God. I liked. And okay, yeah, my... had to look at the stats. Which one do I like? Yep. So we'll my decision off, is the Seattle Dragons. Oh, that's I... such a Becker choice. Yep. Yes, it is. <laughs> Even though they didn't <laughs> they bad. Didn't get... they... Yep, pretty bad. You Whatever. need the zero and one Seattle Dragons. Hey, you can't win them all, can you? No, nope, but can't hey, win any. a lot of game, a lot of season left, a lot of games to be played, so they'll bounce back. Um. Yeah, I just like the dragons because a dragons are cool. B okay. <laughs> there's dragons in Skyrim, and I like Skyrim, so yep. Dragons. Wow. Um, yeah, I like their color scheme. Not gonna lie, I like the orange. I like the green. I like their so, navy blue. I'm glad he brought that up because if the Houston Roughnecks ripped off the Oilers, it really looks like just from a visual perspective that. The dragons ripped off Miami, the college, and like mm-hmm. their colors. So, mm, I, I, not the logo time, though. The hey, colors is a your... different. Colors is a different game. Okay. Hey, right. so you okay. guys is might it? find this uh, hard to believe, but there are only a select few of colors you can have. Um, please oh, wow. explain. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I think is, a lot of that, that, is, <laughs> that is simultaneously the dumbest shit I've ever heard, but kind of the most common sense thing I've ever heard. But it's mainly there fucking are only stupid. X amount of colors. Oh, yeah. Please. 
The only um, interesting players on this team are uh, a couple of guys who I noticed that were in the NFL. Uh, Keenan Reynolds, who I talked about earlier, and he was uh, obviously an exciting kind of do-it-all guy out in Navy. He got the special uh, exemption from the Navy to be able to enter the draft, so he's an exciting guy. And then uh, Kenneth Farrow, I don't know if you guys remember, he was a uh, former Charger backup running back. So I think those are guys that actually could, if they ball out, get another chance in the NFL. And they ha- they do have a lot of players that just sound like football players. I'll, I'll list off some. So there's Please. Brock Please. Miller, this just sounds like a football guy. Um, Alonzo Moore, Brock that's Hampton. a football yeah, name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what it is crazy is that one half of Brock Hampton is playing football. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Brock Hampton. <laughs> Who Favorite Seattle Hampton? Dragon. Hampton, um, he's on the ninth team. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Team nine. Um, Jaquan Gardner, that's a football name right there. Anyone with the last that name is, Clark, yeah. like Jeremy Clark, cornerback from Michigan. He's a football <laughs> sounds guy. Sounds like a NASCAR he, Now, here's the name. Uh, Godwin Iguabuyoke. Yeah, no, I, I, I couldn't pronounce it either. Name. Oh, here's yeah. one. Quintarius Eatman. Yeah, that guy plays football. I like Dylan Day. It's See, a, I thought Dylan Day sounded like a porn star name, to, to be quite honest. Oh, my God. His name is Praise Martin Ogoiki. Now, I like that. Now, that's a name yeah. I can get, <laughs> Yeah. Sounds like a defensive end if I've ever seen Sounds it. like a Seattle Dragon. Oh, yeah. See, they, these guys just sound like they play football. They have football names. Okay. I have yeah. faith in them. Any they, more educated takes? Um, Nope. That's about it. Cam they, Clear is a great name. Yeah, oh, they, yeah, they definitely sound like football guys, uh, guys that would start off 0-1, so you're at yeah, a disadvantage. Sounds like a very Becker team. Sorry, sorry, Becker. Well, they're going to be 9-1 um, at the end of the season, so just watch out. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Fenner, what do you have for us? Um, My team, I honestly uh, kind of chose it the same way Jake Becker did, which Hell pains yeah. me to admit. Hell yeah. It's um, tough. Yeah, I mean, it is tough. Mainly because I, I do think I am going to rep some merch of my New York Guardians. Uh, oh, they, got the, they got the all-black color scheme. Their helmets are sick, just completely blacked out with a gray. They are shitty. fucking dirty. <laughs> I mean, all I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Even the Dragons, which I think is the best logo, all these logos suck. Oh, don't get me no. started about some of them. Oh, shut up. No. Name are you one fucking good? Name well, I'll wait good. for my Dragons. team. I'll wait for my team. Dragons are good. Dragons have a terrible logo. Piss off. Dragons are sick. <laughs> it's ripped right out of Skyrim. No, that's there's, fine. Not, there's not one Boy. logo that's good. The Dallas Renegades logo is literally ripped yep. from the game NBA 2K20. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Roughnecks have a cool, unique, and fun logo. I don't no, know. they're just the well, Oilers. The Wildcats is pretty cool. It's just an L and an A. Yeah, fuck the Wildcats. They, they stink. Oh, don't yeah. get me started about the goddamn Vipers. Gee whiz. I like the Battlehawks. I don't. The Battlehawks is a stupid <laughs> name. It's just a sword and wings. All right, all right, all right. Real cool. Anyways, um, Matt McGloin is probably the most valuable player in this league. I'm not saying he's going to be the MVP, oh, but God. he's going Moving to be on. the Fetter. most valuable player in this league. So take that as you will. Okay. Um, Do I have to? Their starting running back is a man many of you may know, Tim Cook. Nope. Yep. Everybody's favorite running back. Absolutely. Becker, um, I could have sworn I heard you talking about Tim Cook the other day. You're like, oh, yeah. Tim Can't Apple. wait. Yeah. No, it was a, it was a different <laughs> Cook. I was going to say, the, <laughs> the Apple guy. <laughs> yeah. Starting yeah. running back for my Guardians. <laughs> yeah. um, honestly, I, I don't recognize a whole lot of names on this team. Okay. Outside of outside would, of Tim Cook and Matt McGloin, not. but <laughs> okay. So yeah, is that, this team that's pretty this much team, it. No, I mean, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. But this team fucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, fair enough. Say no more. Um, yeah. So as you were saying about uh, no good logos, yes, I highly team. disagree with my team, and Be I careful am with so what you say here. I am so proud of this team already they have not played a game yet but i am willing to die for them the st <laughs> louis battle hawks they have the coolest logo in the xfl define Easy. cool uh as in better than a stupid fucking dragon mm, debatable who would win in a fight a battle hawk or a dragon mm, easy a dragon a battle hawk would not move because it's a fucking sword with wings taped to it yeah so it can't die yeah but dragon spits straight fire big explain that and i think I don't know if a dragon could handle it. I don't see like, talons on this logo. Yeah. Um, 
it's it's a it's a flying sword, so it would just fly into the dragon. Easy end of debate. St. Louis Battlehawks, though. Let, let's get down to business here. I'm not a fan crazy about their jersey. If we want to get into that, I, I, I'm not. I, I really don't like it, to be honest. Don't sound but like a good fan, I, love I guess. My team. What an endorsement. My team. Um, number one, the one player, the one player I wanted to see most in the XFL. Um, my boy, Packer legend Christine Michael. Love him. He's, he's been a sleeper in fantasy football his whole career. And you know what? He might be a sleeper going into DraftKings. Uh, some of these showdowns uh, might be out there. He's my MVP pick. Um, I think he is going to fucking let loose. This man was good in the NFL, and he's going to be even better in the XFL. Um, on top of that, we've got, I think, the second coolest player in all of... Well, maybe Sammy Colts might be second. But at least tied for second, Marquette King. I didn't know he wasn't in the NFL anymore. I don't understand how he's not in the NFL. I always thought he was actually really good. He was really good, and his jersey's sold. Yeah. He was fucking cool. Um, so having Marquette King just makes the Battlehawks the coolest team. Um, um, along with that, uh, my, my last point here is... I really like the repping the Midwest. Uh, you know, I think they're really the representative for everyone. Uh, small t- small market team had their NFL team ripped away from them. Now they're out for vengeance, vengeance in the XFL. Let's fucking go, Battlehawks. Let's go, champions. I, got I, I don't see a world where we lose. Question for you, Zach, about yeah. uh, your team here. Um, yep. How fast are your offensive linemen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you asked <laughs> because I have no fucking idea. <laughs> I'm going to say if they're anything like the NFL lineman, Christine Michael is going to run into their ass so goddamn fast. I watched him yeah. do that for three straight goddamn years, man. Well, what I've also seen him do, and I remember this specifically against the Chicago Bears, was the one time he actually did manage to hit the hole Holy shit, was that a run? He ran about 70 yards and stiff-armed their safety yep. into oblivion. Yeah. So that is the Christian Michael I will always yep. cherish and remember. I can't wait to see him again. I've missed him. I've miss- missed him so much. Um, but yeah, that's my fucking... That's my prediction to win I, it all. I just want to talk about one of the funnier things that I love about uh, the new XFL stuff. Um, seeing the sideline reporters after, immediately after, uh, like a player will turn it over, they'll fumble at the throw yep, interception, yep. and then about you know thirty seconds later, they have a mic and a camera in their face, and so they have to discuss. <laughs> so how was that fumble? Why did you throw that interception? What did you think you see? Hey, dum yep. dum, why'd you throw that pick? <laughs> there was uh, there was a QB coincidentally on the worst team in the XFL, the Seattle Dragons. He mm. threw his second pick six, and there's just a camera right on his. Man. Face, a lot of, watching lot of season him. left. A lot of <laughs> learning. A lot of learning sad. to do. In a way, this is perfect for you, Becker, because that QB. Oh yeah, because that God. team ha- doesn't seem to understand the sport any better than you do. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I was just I was having fun with this podcast stuff, and now I'm just getting ripped as shit. I didn't sign up for this. Come this on, was, this was the long con. This is my last podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry, Becker. No, you're but not. No, you're not. I, no, I'm not. You fucking ripped apart the Battlehawks. Fuck you. I don't care. Yeah, the Battlehawks is a stupid up rugby logo. On this stupid name. You, you brought up rugby. Yeah, because rugby's cool. Sorry, I like yeah. something, guys. God damn. We'll have we'll have a rugby. I, I guarantee you one thing. Yuck. I'll guarantee you one thing. We will have a rugby episode, right. and you can make fun of us. Cool. I would love that. What? Yep. Psych. You've been got. What's new? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Becker. Hey. You. Oh, shit. <laughs> got got <Yeah>. once again. <laughs> um, Back to XFL. Is there one player that you would like to see revive their career in the XFL? That's already in it or not? Not yet. That's why I brought it up just to say Eddie Lacey. Ooh. Yep. I would love to see him back. You guys got anything? Yeah, I'd love to see his fat ass running through the line. I, mean, I don't know who That'd could tackle awesome. him. Yeah. Uh, you know who I would now. love to see? <laughs> hmm. I would love to see Jerry Rice not be able to get open against fucking 12th string no NFL fun. D-backs. Oh, my God. I hate Jerry Rice. I'm glad we got this topic on. <laughs> Jerry Rice is the most overrated Bob player Bob. of all fucking time. This man... Calls himself the best wide receiver of all time. He ran a four seven eight forty. <laughs> a four seven eight forty. 
Well, he'll be the first to tell you he's never been caught from behind. He has never been caught from behind. I, you know what? He also My mind is f- going a million miles an hour right now with just pure hatred for that man. He won't let you forget how good he is, too. Like, at the, um, at the Super Bowl, he wore his jersey underneath his blazer. Like, hey, That's I'm like Jerry guy, Rice. I want to see... <laughs> A guy I want to see, I hope he doesn't have to go to the NFL or the XFL because I want to see him turn around the NFL. I bet Equinemius St. Brown will one day be an XFL legend. And Geronimo. Fuck it, you can toss no, the lot of no, no, He's like, Trip Trip going to be an yeah. NFL star. Fuck you. That's Repeat fuck that. me. Yeah, fuck Drip Trip. What's your issue with Drip Trip? Oh, come on. He can't catch. Oh come on! You're opening up. It, it, oh, I know. I, oh, that he is just a waste. Oh, you know what? MVS might be a fucking XFL player soon uh, too. M- uh, this Half is the fucking fast, but MVS <laughs> yes. stinks. Yeah, <laughs> as, if, as if he could make it. XFL he couldn't master. even fucking he yeah. One. Yeah. Um, He's got Nelson Spruce. <laughs> any other <laughs> uh, any other uh, NFL players you guys want to see hit up the XFL like? Past, like obvious, like out of it. Mm-hmm. Antonio um, Brown. Do you guys think John? Oh, <laughs> oh. try to. Uh, I thought they said no to him. Now? Did they? You want to get by your mic and repeat that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I, yeah. Okay. Um, do you guys think Johnny <laughs> Manziel will uh, try to make well, a comeback? He, he could have XFL? gotten taken in the draft uh, of the XFL, and then uh, I believe him and Trent Richardson went undrafted, and the XFL commissioner was actually asked about it, and he said, it, "quote If they were good enough, they would have been drafted." <laughs> that is a that's fuck some heat. You. That's some heat. Yeah. That. Oh. I don't think Vince McMahon wants Johnny Manziel sniffing his uh, league. <laughs> Do you guys think we could see a Jamarcus Russell return? Ooh. Yeah, I just watched him. His name is Cardell Jones. <laughs> oh, that, that's true. That's pretty fucking close. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I would love to see. Uh, I want to see some old quarterbacks that never really panned out. So mm-hmm. I want to see Joe Webb in the XFL. Oh, Kirk yeah. What, what's <laughs> uh, Can someone see what Christian Ponder's up to? Oh, <laughs> I think he's calling NCAA games. Him and Tim Tebow okay. can. Uh, can get up in the XFL. Is he, uh, is he still is, collecting NFL checks? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Um, this, this might also be off topic. What is Pat White doing? Who? Remember Pat White? No. I don't. Pat White was a Virginia Tech quarterback. Or he just made it once in Virginia. Explains it. I don't know the guy. He was. He was like a, he played baseball. He played quarterback. Fast as hell and was an absolute Madden legend. I was just wondering what ever happened to him. Hmm. Maybe uh, maybe you Scott might be Polzine the only one up. wondering, Kyle. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, no, everyone's looking out for Pat White. Pat White yeah. is sick. Oh, Look what, Pat what, Pat hmm, White I wonder what Pat White's, White's up to nowadays. I hope he's doing well. <laughs> you didn't him. even know who Cy Young was. You know, you get to stay out. <laughs> I can say whatever the <laughs> shit I want, Kyle. <laughs> watch, uh, watch Pat White just be like a rugby player now. <laughs> I think I killed yeah. myself. I'm gonna look it up. What's Pat White? Doing? Um, but yeah, I, I think we all agree it's, uh, I'm excited. I, it's something I can lose money on and I love losing money clearly. Uh, oh so I'll Lord. be, I'll be tossing some DraftKings dollars into the XFL. So, okay. Oh, yeah. This is, this is a little off topic, but we did just oh, mention his name. Um, Sam Bradford. Can you guys, can you guys take a guess at how much this man made in his career? Sam oh, it has Bradford. To, it was I'm going to say 90 million. Any other guesses? Um, let's go. Kyle is low. All right, oh, I'm gonna yeah. go two hundred million. One thirty. One hundred thirty million dollars. Boom! Let's fucking go. I know my Sam Bradford stat. Dollars. That's how you play in the NFL. Oh, Yo, that is that's how you do it. in checks until last year. That's unbelievable. Yeah. I always hated Sam Bradford. I Bradford's. think the funniest thing was when the Vikings decided to trade a first-round pick for him. That yep. was fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah. I, it was easy to hate Sam Bradford because have you ever seen his fucking shoulder pads and his loose-ass <laughs> yep. sleeves hanging off of him? Yep. What a joke. I remember Vikings fans trying to tell me Sam Bradford was good because he had, uh, I think he had the single-season completion percentage record. Well, guess what? When you're chucking four-yard checkdowns every single yep. time, you can go chub that completion percentage right up your ass. Because you're go, you're still gonna go six and ten. Yeah, the trash. What a trash player. 
that's also Vikings fans, and they also think Kirk Cousins is a good QB. It's so tough luck. Yeah, that's they also thought Christian Ponder was good too. Kyle also said that we just need to accept the fact um, that Kirk Cousins is a good QB. So yeah, I don't know if that's I, I just Vikings that. fans. We'll have a separate episode for that. I have a few takes. Yeah, let's on roast that. Kyle instead of me for once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck. Come make, to the king. You best not miss. Let's all make fun of the Kirk Cousins fan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dum dum. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's not take the low-hanging fruit like Kyle being colorblind. <laughs> okay. Um, any last-minute <laughs> thoughts on the XFL? Um, are Anything? there any teams like since there since like only four teams have been played so far? Four teams have played games so far. Are there any r- rival rival of Rees you would like to see? God, I can't talk. Like well, what yes, team you... versus the English language? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Me versus everyone here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, are there any teams yeah. you just hate for any reason? Well, I, hate... I hate the Seattle Dragons. The Seattle now. Dragons. <laughs> All right. Are they the most... <laughs> Question: Are they the most hated team in the XFL? No, they're not because I hate. <laughs> Let me tell you what's not a rivalry. The uh... Seattle Dragons. Their their fucking jersey. Their game authentic jersey is the only one that's sold out, and yeah. those motherfuckers cost two hundred twenty five dollars. Yeah. What? They what? Have, like half their yes. shit sold out in the store already. It's insane. Yeah. <laughs> that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Yeah. Not as dumb as this you league think might the not Hawks. exist in three years. That's wrong. It might not exist in three weeks. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, no kidding. Um, anything else? I'm just looking forward to watching some uh, some XFL action. Oh Amen. yeah, watching. You know, some I don't football. have any strong takes other than fuck the Tampa Bay Vipers. That yes, thank suck. God yeah, someone agrees. Yeah. Their logo is we- so stupid. It's just a V that's like a kindergartner drew in art class, and just slapped okay, some colors it's just on. The guy it. who has a cool dragon. I, I don't mind actually, the Vipers as much as you guys. I, I don't just, know. I don't even know what the Vikings or the Vipers. It's, uh, it's literally it, a V. It looks. It look, it's but just like a V. The color scheme, it looks like a Bush League Oregon. Like, I don't know. I just, I'm not a fan. Like, they have merch actually, with an actual snake head on it. On, though, so oh, actually, I don't I like don't that like. at all. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, that team stinks. It that much. They also look like they have like a like a boneless Oregon Yo. Ducks uni thing going on. That's this, what oh, I just wow. said. Hmm. Kyle recycling. I like that. I like that light green. Recycling content. Yeah. <laughs> that light well, green. Well, it's is so nice. bad. You got to repeat it because this is trash. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. I also hate the yeah, wild. Let's cats. mix green with a uh, mm, green, a lighter <laughs> green. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, that does it from us. Uh, make sure to follow us on Spotify and Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, uh, so you can hear some more XFL talk coming, uh, as well as some more sports talk in general, and some other fun goodies here and there. And the whole cast ripping on me once again. Yep. If you want to hear more making fun of Becker, tune in next time, because we'll have plenty of zingers for you. Do not forget to smash the like button. Yep, yep, smash that motherfucking like button. Uh, also, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at the Farmcast Pod. We've got some good content there. And finally, uh, if you're on Apple Podcasts, uh, please leave us a review. It, hel- it helps a lot, the content we have. It helps the channel uh, and everything like that. And we're going to start shouting out a couple reviews that we get on there, uh, hoping to get a few of those. That would be awesome. And that's all that we've got for you guys. Uh, we will see you on the next episode of the Farmcast. Bye.